Feel the Wrath of Math by Shanika, Mike, and Gina. Geometer's Sketchpad is a program for the use of students to combine their knowledge of mathematics with the computer world. They are capable of using tools for the use of modeling, graphing, calculating, and more. We can use the selection arrow tool to select anything on the graph that we need to move, highlight, resize, etc. It's there to act like a simple mouse. We can use the point tool to plot points on our graph. We can use the compass tool to create circles of any size on our graph. We can use the straight edge tool to make lines of any direction, size, etc. These can also connect points created by the point tool. To make a straight line, hold the shift key while making a line, and it will always make a perfect horizontal line or vertical line. We can use the text tool to insert text on our sketch. Let's use the circle tool. We can draw a circle, switch over to the selection arrow tool, select our circle, and measure the following things. Circumference, area, and radius. You can make the circle's measurements vary by increasing or decreasing the size of the circle and it will automatically update the measurements. We can use the point tool to create points on the circle and then by the order we select the points we can discover the angle created by the points. Let's use the straight edge tool to construct a line. By constructing this line, Geometer Sketchpad will allow us to find the midpoint, any intersection it may create with another drawing, you can also measure the length of the constructed line. Using Geometer Sketchpad, you can choose whether or not you want a grid for graphing or not. Once a new sketch is opened, the screen is blank for your use. You can choose to go to the pull-down graph menu, go down to grid form, and select the grid you'd like if you want a grid for your sketch. In this case, we'll choose a square grid, even though the other options are available. You can use Geometer Sketchpad to graph different types of functions, too. To do this, simply go to the pull-down graph menu again, and click Plot New Function. A mini computerized graphing calculator will pop up, and you can type in whatever function you'd like. For our example, we'll use x squared plus 1. After you enter the function, it will appear highlighted in pink in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Your function will show up already highlighted on your graph, and you can change its appearance any way you want. To do this, right-click the function with your selection arrow tool. You have the options of changing it to thick, thin, or dashed line, and changing the color to whichever one you'd prefer. You can also click the Show Label option to label your graph, and it will appear on your graph. Geometer Sketchpad can be used in a variety of ways inside of a math classroom. These ways we just showed you in our demonstration. However, it is not limited to what we showed you. Geometer Sketchpad gets students to use their knowledge of constructing drawings and put them on graphs instead of just drawing them on scrap paper. Geometer Sketchpad makes it fun to do this because students are using a computer rather than a pencil, ruler, protractor, compass, etc. It makes the work a lot neater, too. There are no worries about stray eraser marks on your pages. What do others think of Geometer Sketchpad? There are other interactive geometry programs around, Cinderella, Cabri Geometry, Dr. Geo, and other free software on the web. But as a software tool for investigating visual maths, Geometer Sketchpad probably stands alone in the lead. One of the most intuitive interfaces I've ever seen on any program. I've used it a lot for my own explorations even when not teaching students. The software comes with a range of helpful teaching accessories, a comprehensive reference manual, quick reference guides, and booklets containing 101 project ideas. 
Our sources are MathsNet, Version Tracker, and School Zone. How do we feel about Geometer Sketchpad? Is it our favorite program in the world to use? Absolutely not. However, is it the worst program ever? No. We just don't like it very much. Not that it is a bad program or anything. We'd prefer to use a graphing calculator over this program because we feel it is faster and easier. Plus, the graphing calculator is handheld so it can be carried around and is quick.